polymer concrete is millions and millions and millions of square feet or so in the polymer concrete every year. It's very popular for commercial okay. kitchens, um, military uh -huh. facilities, meat housing, um, packing plants, um, uh, I suppose food conversion plants where they have uh, uh, organic food waste uh, that they're going to be converting from one thing to another. Um, this stuff is really, really good for that. Meaning most of these places that need fallen concrete have to thoroughly clean their floors every night or every other night with very hot water, up to 180 degrees, power wash, soap, suds, all sorts of stuff. And that kind of brutal attack on any other coating is going to cause it to delaminate, turn white, turn hazy, get ugly, it's going to jack it up. But polymer concrete is completely impervious to it. It will never hurt it ever, ever, ever. Um, it's very chemical resistant. It's also very breathable. Uh, you can put it down with, uh, I think, roughly 10 to 12 pounds of moisture coming up. It won't hurt it. It doesn't hurt it at all. It just it's transfers right through it. Should I put a moisture paper down first before I do that? And I say no, absolutely not. Because this is designed and spec to stick directly to concrete. So if you put down a moisture paper barrier first, it's going to mess that up and it's gonna, not going to adhere nearly as well. So this is a standalone product. Um, can it amper without a sealer on it? Yes, it can. It is not UV safe. So if sun hits it for very ultra high, ultra violet lights, get it, it can amper it. That's why 90% of the time you are going to seal this with a pigmented sealer. Be it a waterborne urethane or polyaspartic or something like that, you are going to top those seal this with the color of their color. Each kit will yield five gallons, basically five different gallons of material, which will cover 45 square feet at an eighth of an inch thickness. Today I'm gonna to drink it out at a quarter inch, so we'll get a little bit less than this board. But I basically wanna show you how easy the application is for this and how well it lays down. It's very, very easy. This is already set at a quarter inch with quarter inch cams. So I'm simply going to start to pull my product back towards me. If I need to maneuver to a corner, I'll simply push it to that corner. Engage, break it out. You want to spike roll your material. Some guys ask, can you loop roll it? I don't recommend loop rolling. It seems to pick up a lot of material with it, and sometimes it doesn't leave a very good surface finish. So I always recommend a spike roll. Obviously, these come in 18 inch for large scale areas, but I just use this for this right now. What this is going to do is going to aerate. It's going to spike roll through the whole thing, help to help uh, the sand particles release any um, pockets of air that have attached themselves to it, and they'll come to the surface. It also helps it to lay down just a little bit better.
you got a mixer. You got a carrier from the mixers to the guys that are gate drinking, to the guys that are spike rolling. As they move along and keep going another 20 minutes later, they've gone another 500,000 square feet. Some guy's going to already be coming out with a bunch of sand and broadcasting sand into it. He'll obviously be in some issues. Once this is all poured out, gay drapes, spike rolled, drowned in sand, you're basically done for the day. It, it, the rest of the day, it sits, it cures, granted, it cures faster than the day, it's usually about six hours. But you have, but when you're doing the sand broadcast like this, it needs a lot of time to just soak in, sit, anchor, and just be solid. Then the next day, you're going to come back, clean up all the sand. Um, most of it comes off very, very easily. You're going to be left with a very smooth, flat, uniform finish of sand. That's it. Um, you're going to clean it all up, vacuum everything up. You're going to sweep a lot of it up first because it's a lot to vacuum. And you want to reclaim a lot of the sand because that's still good. So you're going to sweep it up, scoop it up, and then vacuum the whole thing. If you can blow it off, sure, that'd be great. As long as you don't make a dust storm and you know, send it down a vent or something like a jammer machinery or something like that. It's just a warehouse, then yeah, you can blow it fun on the